going to install the head now. Alright. Bring it to top dead center. You could use a nut, ratchet, anything you want. Check out the pistons. Line four. Two in the center. Two up. Two in the center. And one and four up. So we're going to bring this right to the line on the hash mark on the crankcase, the T. We'll prep out a little bit of the surface area here, a couple spots. I already did already, but just showing you. Take something like this. Knock some carbon off. Good to go. I already did the bottom of the engine, uh, the bottom of the head. See, so there's no oil in there at all. Let me take this off. Looks very dry. Easy motion. If you're more comfortable, you can put the bushing right in it. When you replace your cap, you know it's dead center. Okay, you do that to all of them. And I'll come back in a minute. Get 
the other pin. set there's no wires or anything inhibiting it from going down flush start to assemble the top just a visual inspection it's important oh your head bolts they're exactly the same Alright, you want to tighten these down in two stages. 35 pounds at once. That's a 12 millimeter deep socket, six point. You got the oil there, it's lubed enough. I'm just going to make sure everything's sitting right. Nothing, you're not crisscross pattern, you're not twerking, you're nothing. You just look something up. So you can get your socket in there. And you can get your torque wrench in there. The oil helps. Loop it up as it goes in, plus it helps draw down tighter. You could use air here too. I don't like to use air. I want to feel what I'm doing. You could use air. No big deal. But you're doing this to save money, right? Any time. You use air and you can fuck something up. I got a bolt back here. I don't feel right. I'm going to pull it out. Alright, this particular bolt has a, a shallower socket in it. But it's bottomed out. They're all bottomed out. Now you can get a the wrench on it. A little bit at a time. Cross here. Okay, you're only putting about 10 pounds on this, if that. Collapse 
rinse that gasket nice and, nice and easy, nice and level. See how that one got real loose? Loosened up a little bit, that one loosened up. That one loosened up a bunch. Watch this edge, this will cut the hell out of you. Razor sharp. You're going to do the cap bolts in a similar fashion. Cap bolts are even more important. You could damage a camshaft or the head if you don't bring them down even. I'm pretty snug here. I'm going to go and get a torque wrench. I'm going to bring it to 35 or 7. I'm going to go look. I think it's 35.5. 37, 37 pounds. Get yourself a torque wrench. I mean, guys do this by experience too. You know, they just know what 37 pounds feels like, and that's what they do. I'm gonna go ahead and use this so I don't. You know, if something goes wrong later, I can think about what I did wrong and possibly troubleshoot it. Start in the middle here. Still crisscrossing it. Bring it to 37 yet. Now we're really collapsing that gasket now. Truthfully, I'd probably want to put a little more on it, but that's what it calls for. So let's go with that. Always detention your wrench. We're going to do the same thing with the cams. It's going to be 7.5. 